U.S. exposure of U.S. banks to Europe. Greece is a new bear star. Now this is just a year to date actually for 2010 in terms of market value losses. A moment of great opportunity. But look for stocks that were yielding 2% but are now yielding 5, 6% oh, in, an hour, in an hour's time. That trading floor? Well, it, it's been pretty crazy and pretty, uh, all of a sudden it went from fairly quiet to that. Buying guys just start to step in and start to buy, buy everything across the board. Right, second financial, be, most serious. Second finance. It's going to be a fascinating last hour. I'll be here on the trading desk. We'll be talking with traders all through that hour. Back and I don't know, Bill, whether you would know the answer to this or Jim. Um, are those trades going to count? I mean, if you know somebody made a whole lot you of money. need that protection in the wild market. Like, all right, we got Andy Bush. Let's bring you in here, Andy. Uh, they give you makes it feel like that. Unless I've got yield in our country, what's the point? I'll come in here tomorrow, get my head handed to me again. They're playing, you know, European. Thing too, I want to just add into this conversation is that I don't know if you've been following what Congress has been doing today, okay. but they've slapped on some pretty there big an amendment slipped in that I don't think is going to make it for a 25 basis point, right. basically a tax, that, mm -hmm. uh, in order to be able to allow banks to be able to to own their capital and short. Term. in Athens tonight, following final approval of that country's massive austerity bill, stocks tanking. As that again now tells all about what they are seeing, my co-host for the hour, Bob Asani, Scott Walker on the floor of the NYSC, Bert Hopefully we don't know that, but I asked for some statistics, 2,000% above average volume for the E-mini.